Hey guys, I've got a quick one for you today. In Android 5.0, Google has added the media.projection API that basically allows you to capture and record the device's screen. Now, Android 4.4 KitKat actually had a similar feature, but it could only be achieved via ADB and a USB connected to the computer or via root privileges. So it was very much a developer orientated thing. Now with the API built directly into Android, all you have to do is install a screen recording app that supports the new API and boom, you can record your screen without root or without ADB. Of course, you are going to need a device running Android 5.0. I'm using my Nexus 5 running the developer preview and it's working absolutely fine. Right now, this application that I'm using is still in beta, so it might have some bugs depending on which device you're using this on. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. The app I'm using is called SCR Screen Recorder 5 Plus. It is actually a separate app from the original, especially created for Android 5.0, so the normal app won't work on Lollipop. There is a free version, so you can test it on your device, but it is locked to about three minutes max recording and is also watermarked. There's a number of settings you can mess around with here too. The resolution goes all the way up to 1080p. Be aware that that will take more space and can impact performance of your system, making it a little slower depending on what device you're using this on. Fixed orientation settings, landscape or portrait. Bitrate goes all the way up to 15 megabits per second. Again, setting this too high might cause instability and slow performance, so just be aware of that. I've got mine set to five. In terms of the audio, it can't record the system audio because that would require root, but you can record the microphone, which therefore could record the game audio or your voice if that's something you wanted to do, or you could of course have it muted if you didn't want to do any of that. And one of the cool features here is a face cam. So if we actually tick this, it overlays a, an image of your front facing camera. You can see I'm waving right there and you can actually record that as well. You can change the transparency so that will overlay on top of whatever you open, whatever application you want to record. That'll be there and you can show your face or talk over it, whatever you want to do. You can also have show touches and you can see exactly where the file is going to be recorded as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now, once you hit the record button, you're going to be greeted with a system prompt, which requires user interaction to actually start the screen recording. So it's not as if any app can secretly do this in the background without your consent. So if we just go ahead and hit start now, that's it. It's going to start recording your screen and everything you do. So all your inputs, opening your applications, installing apps, pretty much anything you do will be recorded here. You'll also notice a little screen recording icon in the status bar next to my alarm icon. You can see it right there showing you that the screen is being recorded again. So you'll know exactly when your screen is being recorded. And if you want to stop, you can just go ahead and press the notification. We'll just exit that now. You can see exactly where it's been saved to. We'll just open this up in the photos application. And yeah, there it is. You can see it's now playing back the file. Everything I just did, which was being recorded, is now being played back. So this is a great tool if you want to show someone what's going on or how to do something. This is just excellent. In this example, I've turned on the front facing camera. You can see the overlay in the right hand corner. This isn't really anything to do with the API. This is more to do with the actual application, but you can see it's recording the front facing camera and the screen. So uh, that's pretty awesome. If we just go ahead and play this back, you'll see that it does record the front facing camera as well. So if you do really want to talk someone through this with using your facial expressions, you can do that as well. So it really is an excellent application. But yeah, there you go guys. I'm actually really happy Google included this API because I do use a screen recorder quite a lot. And it's just nice that it's one more thing we don't need root for. So there you go guys, let me know what you think. Peace out.